My guest, Anne Marie, is a 22-year-old woman that graduated from the University of Central Missouri studying journalism, and she also happens to have Down syndrome. Her journey of self-discovery was the subject of a powerful documentary titled Normie. Take a look. Seeing who I am and that I have Down syndrome and I hate every time I see it. How to spare composition? I don't understand. I would love nothing more than you to have what you want. You know, you're an adult now. That's my greatest fear with Palmer, that she will desire to be a mom. That might not be what's best for her. Do you know that I'm fighting aloneness? Yes. I hate being alone. Why is that? Give Palmer time to process things. You can hold Palmer whenever you want. It doesn't matter what people say about you. You are amazing. Please welcome Anne Marie Kerrigan, as well as the filmmaker and the creator of Normie, Kurt Neal. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Well, Anne Marie, let me start with you. What made you want to participate in the movie? Uh -huh. A family friend of mine, uh -huh. Kurt Neal, he actually taught me to speak up and doing this film can able for me to speak up. Right. And Kurt, what inspired you to make Normie? I mean, uh, this is a really great project. As Anne-Marie said, we've been friends for a long time. Mm -hmm. And this idea of Anne-Marie being honest about how she's lonely mm -hmm. and that she fiercely wants to be loved and accepted for who she is. And that kind of birthed this idea of let's explore what it means to be normal and this illusion that we're all dealing with of trying to be something to give us value. And I think Emery demonstrates that she has a value well beyond, she's very capable, but she has a value way beyond that. What do you hope viewers will take away from watching Normie, from watching you and, and your journey in this film? I hope um, people will have the, the encourage to speak up, because we have the encourage to speak up. Mm -hmm we can able to make a difference. Mm -hmm. And that's what I really, really want the viewers to come across. That I am just me who I am, but able to speak up. Um, so what's the response been to the film? Uh, we've been really kind of shocked by it, that people talk about the authenticity of the film. Of course, Anne Marie and her candor about opening up, being vulnerable when it relates to things of the heart, soul, and mind in a way that's, uh, I think it draws people to look at their own life, which is yeah. what we're really after. How has your life changed since the film has come out? So I get to experience everything and in, in, in exposing every aspect of my life. It is very comforting knowing, the fact, knowing that the truth is all out mm -hmm. there. And it's, one of the greatest journeys in my entire life. Right. Well, you're, you're kind of a movie star now, so I mean, people are <laughs> recognizing you, and is that fun for you? It, it is definitely fun. And uh, you handling it okay? Definitely. Don't be a diva on us now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you you got to keep your feet on the ground. Yes. But I'm really proud of, of both of you for this, and I hope that it continues to have more and more success. People know the truth when they hear it, and when you speak with the candor and, and heart that you do, that resonates with people, and it challenges them and inspires them to do the same thing in their own lives. So you're changing lives.